Hey everybody, it's Ad the Red, and welcome back to Sunar Mask of Arcadius. Now then, I am trying out the other recording option again to see how it performs, see if there's any, ch any change to the uh, audio glitching or not. It's, it's, so far it seems to be working alright, I was testing it just a moment ago, but uh, I don't know how it's going to hold exactly. Uh, anyway, yeah, so last we left off... Cassette and Fontana, one of the Vinachar's right-hand men, uh, well, the only surviving right-hand men, really, um, are planning some sort of an assault, I believe, some sort of attack on here, on us here at Angus. We've already, of course, been kidnapped by Cassette and we barely made it alive, uh, uh, in what was a very bloody skirmish between her pirates and uh, Alliance Marines with many civilians caught in the crossfire, which was pretty awful. Uh, but yeah, moving on. <clears throat> Warp signature detected, Captain. It's another packed scout ship. Blech. Status? Hovering out of range. That's the 15th one this past week. Packing to be planning something. They know most of the combined fleet stationed at Angus. Most likely they want us to chase their scout so a strike fleet can warp in or hit the Alliance's ship while they're refueling. Maintain our position. If Pack manages to slip a ship past us, it'll ignite the Angus side being stored in our docks and wipe out the entire combined fleet. Aye, Captain. I feel like we're swimming in the middle of a minefield. We are, Lieutenant. That's enough liquid Angus site and orbit around the planet to blow us all the way back to Farport. Ava, any intel on our new commander? Or on their new commander? Benachar Fontana. He's quite young considering his position at the top of the pack uh, chain of command. Um, despite his age, he's seen as Arcadius' right hand man. Brilliant as he is deadly, he is a foe not to be trifled with. Crushing on the enemy command as a capital offense commander. Captain. <clears throat> also, I believe one of our crew may have encountered him in the past. Oh? I believe Asaga briefly met him while she was captured. What does she say? You can imagine. Oh, right, that guy. He was actually pretty good looking for a red. Huh, <laughs> not quite helpful. Regardless, he is a far more fearsome foe than anyone we've encountered in the past. We should not underestimate him. All right, thanks for the advice. Okay. We have quite a bit. Looks like. All right, so we have a scene on the bridge. You two here. Not sure if you're separate or not. Not sure if these are separate or not. But uh. All right, I guess I'll start with the uh, the biggest group. Assuming they're separate. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Huh. I can't believe you actually let yourself get captured by that little runt. I reiterate, she was being escorted by 40 armed gunmen. We had no choice but to surrender. <laughs> the first time you told me there were just 20 gunmen, and others over 40? It was a chaotic situation. You cannot expect me to remember every detail. You guys... Will you two ever get along? Th the mercenaries started it. Er, er, I mean, sir. Huh. <laughs> it's not my fault Soldier Boy got himself captured. Ah, 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 Ikari. Weren't you the one who nearly started crying when you found out? What? In fact, you then marched down to the armory and strapped more weapons on yourself than you could carry, screaming something about a rescue mission. The commander had to get six guys from security to finally put you down. I, 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 I have n no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> oh my. Could it be that you actually care about Kriska? Ah, sh shut up, shut up, shut up. I don't care about anyone. I'm Ikari Isi Dold, mercenary of cold steel. In fact, you could say that I'm just too experienced to care about relationships. Not that I'm interested in that kind of stuff, because I'm not, you hear? You're turning red. I I'm leaving. The, the Phoenix needs calibrations. Okay, Garrus. She's, uh, she's always trying to act cool, and yet... I do not always try to act cool. <laughs> See what I mean? I apologize for the mercenary's lack of respect, sir. On the other hand, she's always straight-laced about everything. Uh, carry on, Lieutenant, with whatever you were doing. And Claude, try to stay out of trouble. And try to leave me alone. Tiki, 
Yeah. All right. Just wanted to. Okay, so that didn't change. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Uh oh, Captain. Glad to see you're up and about. You had us all worried for a sec there. Don't worry. I wouldn't let myself get killed by the likes of Cosmos. Did she hurt you anywhere? The next time I tangle with her, I'm gonna give her a piece of my mind. <laughs> Alright. Just a bump in the head. Nothing serious. Th that scum! I'll be sure to get you some payback, Captain. Hmm. Um. Uh. Granted. But I don't care. We'll take down Cassette together. You betcha. Next time I see her, I'll put her down for good. You'll see. Thanks for the concern. But don't worry, I'm alright now. She'll just give a saga a smile and turn to leave. She should grab the tail of his coat. Don't do that to us again. We were all worried. I was careless. It won't happen again. Good. Well then, I better get back to work on my blackjack. We've got another big battle coming. And I'll bet my money that Cassette's gonna show her mug again. And this time, I'll be ready. That is Saga. She never changes. Carry on, Saga. Okay, once more, nothing. Uh, we'll start with Sola. <clears throat> Captain? Do the stars answer any of your questions? You wish to talk? The Raivian Empire of your time ruled Angus. Tell me, if you were the Shah, would you give the Angusians independence? I? I have given such matters little thought. The Angusians have suffered under the hands of foreign powers for millennia, but they'll not be able to recover without foreign intervention. To complicate matters, we need their Angus to win this war. Without it, thousands of lives would be lost. Deaths we can prevent by making better arms with Angusite. Such dilemmas came with sitting on the throne of Raivia but men craved it, killed for it. But you were different, are you not? You were thrust onto the stage not by choice, but by circumstance. To be emperor was to decide who lived and who died. Such power was inherent to the throne. But it was always my hope that the man who sat in the Star Palace would be a fair ruler, who made decisions for the good of the empire. Far too many emperors of my time sought riches and glory for themselves at the expense of the people. And perhaps that was why our empire eventually collapsed. The good of the empire, huh? Whatever happens, I am sure that you will make your decisions based on what is good for the galaxy. I wonder what that is. Terms like good of the galaxy are hard to define. It can mean anything. I am merely a peasant girl, Captain. Please do not expect too much out of me. <laughs> Thanks, Sola. I'll come back to you any time if I need advice. Hmm. And now she got Ah, Captain. Huh, you're by yourself today. Ah, uh, yes. The saga's been acting strange lately. I think I know why that is. She's been calibrating the blackjack more often. She's even stopped playing her games and now spends all day practicing in the simulator. Ah, really? That's unusual. Could it be that a saga's finally decided to grow up? Yeah. <laughs> like that would ever happen. It's good that she's been taking her duties more seriously, but I wonder if she's overdoing it. She really can't do anything in moderation. That's a saga for you. Everyone knows there's another battle coming. We're all doing our best. I feel like this one's going to be different. Pack's been acting strange. In what way? They came back with a smaller force after withdrawing. A force that size wouldn't be able to conquer Angus by itself. I'm not sure what they're after this time. Do you think Cassette's pirates has something to do with it? No doubt. The only strategy I can think of is that Pack plans to sneak past our defensive line and hit the combined fleet while it's docked. They'll try to wear us down for weeks with feints until we finally get careless and let a ship warp past us. It's a waiting game they must be playing. Don't worry, Captain. We won't let anything pass. Hey, on another topic, there's a saga right there. Ah! Uh, well, hello there, Captain. Enjoying a lunch break with Chigara? Ooh, ah, ha, ha. I was just trying to figure some things out. Ooh, I wonder what's in the menu today. Yesterday we even had bulgogi. 
Wow, Alliance Requisition to Shard Generous, huh? Looks like it's super spicy curve for me today, with, with a side of even more hot sauce. Listen up, Jigar. The key to victory in the war is, to, is first to conquer spicy food. A true hero is not born unless you can handle spice. I'm actually inclined to agree there, in a way. I see. Asaga picked up a tray of curry from the counter. And with that, I'm off. Enjoy your chat together. You're not joining us? Oh, no, 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 no. I've got more scenarios to run on the simulator. Can't let the skills get dull, you know? Who knows, Impact might, ta might attack again. Hmm. Make sure you don't, you don't overexert yourself, Asaga. Thanks for the concern, Captain. But don't worry, I never run out of energy. See you guys, enjoy yourselves. Yoink. Sometimes I worry about her. Don't worry, Chigara. I'll talk to her later and find out what's going on. Thank you, Captain. Okay, right. Um... Alright, I think what I'll do is I'll call the episode here, pop into research for a bit, and then take back off from the scene here. Because I think that's, yeah, that's everything. Alright, so I'll do that. See you in a bit.